Hey, Ben here, co-founder of Reorigin, where we teach you how to reclaim your health by retraining your brain. I'm here with our head coach, Katie, and in this video, we're gonna talk about how to reduce feelings of overwhelm and anxiety and how to do it in under 60 seconds. So I'm gonna turn it over to Katie to kick off an important concept that's gonna help us get out of our brains and into our bodies where, as we'll see, we might be able to turn down the dial on anxiety and stress in a little bit more of an interesting and efficient way. Yeah, thank you, Ben. Um, so when we think about retraining our brain, right, that would be considered like a top down approach, right? Where we're consciously in our brains, we're thinking, we're analyzing, we're doing all that, that, that really fun and important stuff. Sometimes it's really important to get out of our heads and get into our bodies, especially if you're in a place where you're feeling overwhelmed and you're just like, I can't think myself out of this, right? right? Sometimes we can't think ourselves out of we stuff. We try, but it doesn't. <laughs> and it's okay, doesn't. it's okay. Yeah. So what we are gonna help you guys is with a bottom up approach. So let's get into our bodies for just a second. And what you're gonna do is in those moments where you feel anxious or overwhelmed or overworked or overstimulated, you might pause and you might locate where you feel that in your body. So I'll just give you an example. Oftentimes when I feel anxious, I feel it kind of like right at the center of my chest in my solar plexus area. Uh, so when you feel this, notice where it is in your body. And after you notice where it is in your body, you're gonna start to envision that, that thing in your body. Does it have a shape? Does it have a color? Does it, ha does it make any sound? Just, just starting to really put some physical attributes to that, that sensation, that emotion in your body. And after you do that, you're, well, first of all, make sure you tell yourself it's okay to feel this way, right? These sensations are normal. It's, it's part of being human to be anxious and overwhelmed at times. And then you might take a few deep breaths. And then after that, with your eyes closed, you might envision that thing starting to move from the center of your chest, maybe up towards your heart. And then maybe it dissipates out towards your shoulders. And then maybe into your upper arms, your elbows, your lower arms, down into your wrists and into your fingers. And then you might kind of shake it out through your fingertips, right? You may also go the opposite route, right? It might go down into your hips and then down through your legs and all the way through your ankles and your feet and your toe tips. You, know, you might shake your legs out. So you can do this in 60 seconds where you just hone in on the sensation in your body. You allow it to be present in your body. You might give it some physical attributes. And as you're breathing, you might just close your eyes and envision that thing dissipating throughout your body, throughout the channels of your body where you can shake it out mm -hmm. and you can release it. It's a really, really incredible exercise. And definitely try it if you feel like you're, you're stuck in your head with that stuff. Yeah, exactly. And one of the things that I think is really important and helpful to, to realize and acknowledge is that anxiety, overwhelm, these are normal human sensations and emotions, yeah. right? These are completely <laughs> normal. In fact, not only are they normal, but they are good. Mm. They indicate that you care about something, that you're challenging yourself in some way. And if we think about it, there might be two different roads to travel, generally speaking, if we wanna, you know, sometimes we think that what we should be doing is not feeling anxiety or eliminating anxiety. Yeah. Yeah. And of course we could do that by avoiding all of the things in life that make us stressed. <laughs> but of course life might get very small if that's the case. And we wanna be able to live in the real world. We wanna do things that are involve discomfort sometimes. Mm -hmm. And it's also important to acknowledge that when we're feeling discomfort, whether it's overwhelm, stress, anxiety, these are just chemicals flowing through mm. the system. They are literally chemical energy that builds up in the system. You may have, might have heard the, the term emotion stands for energy in motion. Mm. And the key is that the energy wants to move through us. And just like caffeine has a certain half-life, mm. let's just say if you drink a cup of coffee, you know, six hours later, you'll only have half of the amount of caffeine flowing through your system. The chemicals like cortisol and adrenaline that contribute to feelings of anxiety, they also have a half-life. Mm. And so it isn't that the anxiety is bad. What happens is that when we try and resist the anxiety, right? When we think <laughs> that it shouldn't be there or we try and think our way out of it and we get more intense about it, 
this limits that natural half-life process from occurring mm -hmm. and it inhibits those chemical energies from flowing through us. So what you're just describing here is basically giving us a way of yeah. letting go, letting it flow. Yeah, absolutely. So when the video's over, take 60 seconds, give this a little try and share your thoughts, share your experiences, share anything that felt like it worked for you in the comments below. We'll see you guys soon.